Well then, let us go rescue a tiny little dog. Oh, as usual, we find the entrance to this cave right above the town. And we're off to a perfect start, as the walls of this room are covered with leering visages, visages of demons of all kind. Okay, that's not ominous at all. But anyway, yeah, we're going to try and save that tiny little dog. Though it might not be a huge secret at this point to tell you that... Since we've been talking to that little girl, that since we talked to the little girl, a lot of time has passed. And a lot of time has passed since the dog disappeared, so of course it is by now dead as a door nail. The probably one, though presuming actual door nails also do not have very much in the way of aliveness. I'm a bit out of practice on this thing. And my eloquence seems to have suffered ever so slightly. I wish to entreat your patience. Oh dear God, stop talking. Anyway, um, just... We're doing some regular old exploration. I uh, found scale mail, which if I check out my inventory, scale mail is of course extremely heavy. And... I think does not provide much additional protection over studded leather armor, but... Mm. This is one of those cases where the extra point of PV would not ordinarily be worth it, though I guess now I'm pretty much stuck with it. Thank you very much. Adam's or I already feel familiar. This is the Adam I know and love. Despite the paint job, despite the modern graphics, despite the cases of serious beauty. For instance, look on the titties on that harpy. Uh, I've degenerated. At least the titties on that harpy are pretty, a lot prettier than the titties on that imp. I wonder when will I be able to stop saying that word. It is beyond hilarious and or juvenile to be fair mostly juvenile <sighs> anyway tinder box a box of tinders in it which I think is actually pretty good because I've been closing in and running out of tinder though I also have only four flint and steel so that could be better Anyway, not much to find in this upper level of quasits are immune to fire, less immune to frost, but quite if adept at shrugging off bolts. Anyway, but not very strong in melee, so maybe I should have tried it. From well, the beginning, I have to get a feeling for what my character is capable of. But um, apparently at the point where I can feel pretty confident milling. Oh yeah, an adamantium battle axe. That's pretty nice. Oh. I got a little bit burnt out on Adam after playing the Mission 8 Impossible thing. Which, well, you've seen the rather inglorious closing videos of that. And anyway... I decided it was time once more. Whatever. Now, the second level of the puppy cave. I'm not even sure. I don't. I think the puppy cave is covered in the first Let's Play I did, which some of you might have watched. But just to be certain, this is one of the regular features of the puppy cave. At least the guys to the left are. There is masses of giant ants. The slightly redder giant ants are the significantly more dangerous giant ant warriors. Uh, this hive of giant ants will keep spawning giant ants until it's emptied and the queen comes out, which you then also are invited to kill. You can't influence how many ants spawn, you just can kill. You can only kill the ants that come out. For an early game character this is quite dangerous. For a quite advanced elementalist, 
unless you take the additional challenge of trying to kill some of them in melee, it's actually not difficult at all, which is nice. Though, of course, if you try to kill, just kill them all, you might, at least uh, with an early game character, run out of power points. But that is neither here nor there. These skills modifiers suck, every single one of them. I am disgusted. Oh, I might as well learn some gemology out of this. And I feel magic energies manifesting my vicinity. And I have absolutely no idea what it is, except I do. Okay, let's get done with these rats first. And trap these ants in this doorway and start killing them with burning hands. Because I can do that. And because we already tend to have lots of this burning hand stuff already, so why not use it? Also, burning hands does not burn items on the ground, whereas Frostbolt or Firebolt can cause damage. One feature of the Ant Warrior fight is, of course, the eating of ant corpses, which makes your stomach tingle, and by extension, causes you to become resistant to all kinds of acid, which is not as good as immunity, but pretty good. This is some potions, which is nice. The cooked black druid core. Oops, I did not deliver that. Change of plans, you guys. I forgot something already. Oh, yeah, that's a queen. She takes a little bit more effort to kill. And that is the end of the story of the ants. So, let's... Abort my infinitely uh, important quest to rescue a tiny puppy from the clutches of doom. To deliver the cooked corpse of one of his former brothers to good luck. Thanks to ye for bringing this corrupted thing to me. I will care for it. It's it's the corrupt. It's the cooked carcass of a human being. What? How are you gonna care for it? It's not a pet. You're gonna bury it, I hope. Frankly, I'm afraid to ask, and I'm gone instantly from this hellhole. Man, what is up with these people? I'm just gonna go back to murdering innocent little creatures. To distract me on that guy. What a creep. Anyway, fortune cookie, uh, I mean iron rations, eaten. More warrior corpses don't do ex anything extra, they just cause you to vomit and have to eat again. Cobalt corpses, as usual, not good for eating. That's just how Munkless already. In the appearance of what the new race, the mist elves, might be able to produce with their white clay necromancy. It has the, the same, that appearance. It looks like it's made of white clay. So there's that, you can make these things. Of course, in actual battle, they die instantly, so I'm not sure exactly what the use of that is, but there you go. If you want to play a Mist Elf, you can do that. Mist Elves, by the way, I wasn't entirely too thrilled with the concept of the Mist Elf, mostly because I thought, we already have two kinds of Elves, why do we need a third kind of Elf? Doesn't make much sense, but here they are, and the class, at the very least, that's a plus. It's more distinct from the other elves, and high elves are distinct from grey elves. That was actually another herfling. And I think that means I can't eat it. You won't eat a member of your race, even if it was evil. What a curious time to develop standards. I thought her I thought halflings were supposed to love eating. Five meals a day and all that stuff. 
I guess that's a slight departure from Tolkien. Oh, okay, I guess Sam wouldn't have eaten Gollum, despite how hungry he was. Oh, that would that would have been a dark spin on the latter parts of Mount Mordor. If they had just eaten the black hurfling, like one would in Adon. Ah, you can now distinguish visually the withering states of herbs, as you can, if you've paid attention. The herbs got smaller every time I picked them, or picked from them, to use the correct preposition. English be hard. At any rate, that means herb farming has become much more convenient. Now, here's the thing. This will, at least not with addition, uh, without additional work, and keeping in mind I'm not experienced in this kind of math, lead to one stable, one stable herb patch. The question is which one? And, whoops. Yeah, now, let's pick these first. This is always pepper petals. I'm not sure if the old system is still in effect, but pepper petals are pretty good. That's Morja roots, yeah. I want to keep those bound there. And that's already enough Kuraria and Hamancocks and all around their antidotes for the rest of the game. So that's good. The herbalism skill immediately turns out useful. Halo Ox Sergeant is fair of fairly buffs buff creatures but I am have become somewhat of a monster in melee so that's fine. The row of buff pepper petals I think is occupied by stomophilia. You might have noticed something in the message line and there it is. We found ourselves a vortex and I think this one's a fire vortex. No. No. I thought it might be a fire vortex because blue flame, it might burn with blue flames, but they got a color scheme right. It's an ice vortex as it should be. What do you do with ice vortices? You try to hit them with fire and fail, apparently, because the game is. This game is not. This game is. It just is. You can't really help it. It just is. Let's go with that. That's a hellhound. <clears throat> Wonderful. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Let's explore every nook and cranny of this level because I didn't come here to on any kind of time critical mission or anything. I mean saving the tiny p p puppy from sh sure death is important and all but I mean you gotta have that priorities but this is loot we're talking about <laughs> more herbs pretty good pretty good harvest to be found here in the puppy cave it's just always useful to explore these kind of random dungeons just for the stuff you find in them. Take for instance this crow labeled Yasnab. Could be any kind of crow. Could be a useful kind of scroll. And you wouldn't have found it if you didn't explore this part of the dungeon. Anyway. I really hope that was all the white worms. Yeah. Don't need demon daisies. And yeah, it's indeed stomophilia. That's good. I want to check something. I have regular gauntlets, a metal cap, an amulet of light, the cursed ring. I still don't really know what it is. Did I even drink a potion of insight at some point? I might have to again. Oh, around key is good. Goblins are tasty. No. As are large orcs, bit of candy might be Gromish candy, that's always useful. Dum de dum de dum. It has been a while since I played this, but you never quite forget how to do it. Did I kill cats in this one? 
Always nice to check on this. See? Cave tigers. Oh, in that case... Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Burn to death, kitty. Thank you. I might have issues. Man, I really would not want to get a cat or a dog or any kind of pet. Can barely take care of myself. What was I doing? Oh yeah, killing monsters. Anyway. Harpy? Carrion core. Oh yeah, message spam. Wonderful. Kill that harpy. Kill that goblin. What is wrong with me? Why can't I hit that harpy? Oh no, I don't want to deal with this guy anymore and I strictly have to. What is wrong with my hitting skills? Oh, there's no two hit bonus in a battle axe, so hitting is slightly difficult. I only have a plus seven bonus to hit. I didn't even get a damage modifier from it. Apparently, strength 13 is too little for that. I don't really want to attack the dwarf, to be honest. The guy's friendly. In fact, I'm gonna save his last life. And fight whatever's over here. That's a rattlesnake, a goblin chieftain, a female berserker, and I'm gonna pick up the blanket, which might be fireproof blanket or something useful like that. I take note of the fact that there is a Hey, West Monster! I couldn't help but notice that you have an opinion about the tastiness of my items. How many cur how much curt stuff am I wearing anyway? Jesus, man. Yes, I th also think those headers should have been should be transformed to rusty heap. If you don't mind, I'm gonna just stand here for a little while. What do you mean? Hey, my cursed arm is gone! What a crying shame. Wait, I... Oh, crap. I for I didn't actually... I dropped the... Stutter Lander armor from before, didn't I? <sighs> Hello, this is Sylphir. And his Let's Play. You know what Sylphir isn't? A genius. Thanks, Obama. No. Almost. Almost didn't manage to find a scapegoat for that. Nobody noticed anything. Nope, no message spam for you. So, let's keep exploring this place. Gloves is good. These picks is good. Kill that rat. I only... Man, I just want to pick up this gemstone. Can you not do that? Whoa, what? You swing at the air? something invisible there. That's not good. You scorch something. Damn right I do. Oh. I think I, I think I killed it. I either killed it or chased it away. And this is the corner where the afraid monsters have been gathering all this time because apparently they didn't lose the afraid status all this time. And this is the corner where they meet a just and deserved end in my hands and or rocks. What's this? It's a koboldy. Apparently large kobolds also have a bow. I don't think they usually drop bows or arrows though. Which is kind of strange. What is that? A least daemon. Is that right? 
kind of, I think, immune to fire, actually. So this could get interesting. I do not think it's immune to ice, though. Nope, it isn't. Which is rather important. Maybe I sh actually should not have done that thing with the armor I did. I'm already noticing that I'm running low on health. And I already can't fight this guy straight up because that is a Gnoll Chieftain. Those guys can do tons of damage. And that is a white. Also can't just fight this guy. Right. And we're on the final level of the Puppy Cave. Which contains, as you might be already aware, a vault full of dangerous creatures. Or occasionally not so dangerous creatures. And somewhere on this level, there is indeed a cute tiny little puppy. Or the remains of a cute tiny little puppy, whichever applies. Rainbow Hued Potion. Or Corpse. Some of these orcs should, should be wearing usable armor in my size. I am um, actually know they shouldn't. It wouldn't really make sense, but it would be convenient for me, so that's what I wanted want the game to do. Orc Scorchers. Can distinguish these pretty easily in the uh, in the graphics mode. In the ASCII mode, they have different colors. Orc Scorchers are notable because they drop Orcish Spears, which are decent melee weapons. There's only so many ways to make this exciting, and I think I've exhausted them all. Well, no, I'm just, I just suck. That's the reality of it, but... Anyway, large orcs. There's a frost bolt to minimize ice bolt item destruction. Bit of a shame that I can't kill these outright, but there you go. Can't eat large orc. That's regular orc, I can kill that. That's regular orc scorcher, I can kill those too. Maybe they will drop something other than their rotten carcasses. Ah, that is, I think, that should be a mithril quarter staff. And long spear is a new item introduced in Adom One Two O, or as they are now called, the Adom release, such and such. Hmm. There have been a couple of new versions of Adom released since this pre-release, including the Steam Greenlight version, which I think is pre-release 25, which is also publicly available. So this isn't, already isn't the most current version of the game, but it's the version that has my save game, so that's what I'm stuck with for a while. At any rate, there's actually some new stuff in the found in those new versions that you, you'll be missing out on in this particular let's play so I might have to do another one then which well I'm not sure if I'll do it but at any rate there's lots of new stuff to find in Adon these days and I invite you to try that out iron boots I won't bother with because they won't have different stats than the boots I am currently wearing what I would bother with if I found it is armor I'm not finding any armor but I'm going to eat some of these orcs because I feel like it. Speaking of rotten corpses... What do we have here? The rotting corpse of a starved, puny, tiny little dog. Isn't it a tragedy? Yes, yes it is. Apparently. I mean... It's, is it supposed to be? I'm not sure. 
might be the parody of your typical old adventure game quest. Maybe fireballs will work. Maybe burning hands will work. Burning hands did work. Burning hands has a does have a burning hands. I'm not sure how to pronounce the car uh, accent free. Burning hands. Burning. Burns, burns, burns. Anyway, burning hands does not actually perform a hit check of any kind. It just if the monster isn't immune to it, to fire in general, then it will hit and do all of its damage. And that is a great thing. It makes Burning Hands one of the more useful spells in the ele Elemental's arsenal. Especially because you get tons of it by level up. Though I noticed that I think... No, I think you start with more Frostbolt than Burning Hands, so... This is the regular constellation of casting points. Anyway, there are frog legs. Sacre bleu. Should be tasty. Oh, great. Well job. Job well done, Sylphir. Way to offend all of your French viewers. All two of them, or whatever. Just because there are frog legs in the game does not mean you have to immediately think of the French. Way to present, way to represent yourself in front of the audience, at, in the on the internet at large. Way to go. Job well done. Hmm. Somewhere around here should be that armor I dropped. Where did I drop that armor? I really should have kept track of where I dropped that armor. Well, screw that. I'm gonna find better armor eventually anyway. I'm not gonna go look for that damn thing. Not a million years. Can I do this? Yeah, I can do that actually. There it is! That's a start of leather armor. Thank God for the graphics mode because that actually does look like start of leather armor now. Usually you just get the brown thing and well, that should be a, is that a blink dog? No, that's a Kushu, which apparently is a bearded dog with a mohawk that goes all the way to the tail. Well, I'm not the artist, so I, that's a <laughs> so good job, I guess. I'm not the artist. Can comment on the quality of art. Actually, no, that thing actually looks pretty decent. Okay, there was some armor lying here. I know there was. Where did it fucking go? Did a Minotaur get it? Oh, don't tell me that stupid doppelganger that I let live just now took the armor. Now I have to fight. Yeah, there it is. But first I'm gonna deal with this guy. Right, did you take my armor? You did, son of a bitch. Well, now I've got it back. Me. I mean, doppelganger. Hmm. Oh, come on. I mean, technically, of course. It would help you look more like me because I used to wear it, but that is kind of creepy. I'm making no sense again. Anyway, back to telling you, where's the tiny girl? Because I have to do the lawful thing and tell her that a puppy died. Lawful... Lawfulness is kind of weird that way. Apparently there's a law that you have to tell tiny little girls. Has you found me puppy? Do you want to tell her about it? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Tiny girl begins to weep bitterly. 
And for the double blow. Here's the corpse of your beloved dog. I made a tiny girl cry. And that was the lawful thing to do. Wonderful. Now that that's over with, let's go on the great trek to the foreboding cave. Dum -dum -dum. Trek. Or track. Track is. Let's see, K. Trek. My pronunciation is the shits. But anyway, here's the foreboding tunnel to the you know, chaos, and that is another ant hole. Hmm. That should be fun. And a bit mean. I mean, that's dungeon level one of the caverns of chaos, and already giant ants. That is just not fair. Anyway, I'm gonna let them dig out parts of the level because I have gemology. That means if they dig out the level, I might find more gemstones, which is always nice. Okay, the blinding trap didn't blind me for very long, which is good. There's a potion of vis visibility in here, which is also... Wait, no, potions of visibility suck. They're not useful at all. You could throw them at an invisible monster, but if you could aim at an invisible monster properly to guarantee that your potion doesn't go to, just go to waste, you don't have to make it visible, you can just kill it all right. So that really doesn't make any sense. There's an edge use case because if you are actually invisible, you cannot enter the arena because stack won't let you. So you can drink a potion of invisibility invis to make yourself visible for a time period and thus enter the arena. It is only relevant if you are permanently invisible, which, yes, is actually possible in this game. Uh, crawl in blindness and crawl in blindness and agony. I am indifferent to your fate. Actually, no, I hate you all. That is not quite indifference. Not by a long shot. Anyway, die in a fire. And you have your head smashed in by my warhammer. Now everything is in order. It's not a medium shield. Nothing for me. I think I already have to, way too many of these shields. I think I picked some you up uselessly. And thank you very much for that. Though I think I already have a short bow for accuracy, so that's not too bad. And there we go. And there are more stupid creepy qualies die and I'm not gonna bother taking out a queen on this level I'm just gonna descend to dungeon level 2 and there is the stairs down And there is a big room full of orcs. Doesn't speak well of the combat prowess of your average orc that this is my reaction to a big room of orcs. Except for that orc chieftain because he's actually dangerous. But other than that, this is a room full of free XP. Max that marbleism skill. Ah, some crappy rolls there. Crude knives and long sword, that's not interesting. Potion of water and poison, that is interesting. Large rations and a heap of orcs to devour. Uh, dude, I'm I'm trying to eat here. Thank you, man. Thank you. That was sarcasm because I'm not actually thanking you because you disturbed me. And I had to kill you to you know what, forget it. <laughs> Good old ancient domains of mystery. 
Running around, killing monsters, taking their stuff. If it got a little old over time, it's because I've done it for tens of ten years or something. And you're still just as fun as you were back then. <laughs> and there are some rats here. Wonderful. And a big room full of more rats and a raider and some more rats and what is this? A spare trap? Oh, they have a spear. Spare spear. Hmm. Cobalt. Pretty strong cobalt. Took all those spears with it. Not sure why. Apparently, maybe it was trying to collect them in case it finds a shopkeeper so it can flog them all. And here we find the level the arena is on. Which is probably a good time as any to take a break and say see you next time on let's play the new ADOM.